and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kindred Ash, our last deck today. Uh, Going to be another viewer submitted deck with another Kindred deck. Kindred looked really good earlier in our Kindred's Fortune deck, especially against Aurelia Azir, being able to like mark a lot of units and everything like that. We'll see if we're able to um, be able to do have as good of a success with this Kindred list. This is going to be a Frostbite Kindred deck. You know, it's going to be mostly Ash, you know, Frostbiting all the enemies, being able to have big attacks um, where, uh, you know, their enemies with zero power can't block. The synergy between Kindred and Ash, though, is that if we um, use a Frostbite card, like Ice Veil Archer, Flash Freeze, anything like that, we could Frostbite, like, some big unit or, like, a champion, get it down to zero power, and slay something else, and we mark the weakest enemy. Well, if we're marketing, if we're marking, you know, the weakest enemy, that could be the thing with zero power that was Frostbitten. So that's kind of where the synergy comes in to play. I'm a little worried about our curve, or, you know, like we, we're playing multiple spirit leeches are a little expensive instead of more Glimpse Beyond, but we'll kind of see how that goes. I like Avros and Sentry in here drawing some cards for us, getting some card advantage that way. And then our top end, we got these Rekindlers, and Rekindler should be pretty awesome. Um, the strongest dead ally champion in our deck will be Ash. It'll be Ash, and then Kindred, then Thresh. Um, Thresh is always pretty great, too. I like that we got one Thresh in here instead of the third Kindred. I think that's actually that actually works very well. So this is going to be a real interesting one to play. Should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We got Spooky, Ash, we got with Kindred, and Thresh. We're, ahead. We're going to go Surf's Up. Surf's up. All right, we got a tough test with Thresh Nasus. Avalanche would be an important one to have. I'm gonna just keep all this though. Let's keep the twos. Keep the twos and lose. No, that doesn't that rhymes, but we don't want that to happen. Okay, prediction started. There you go. I think I want to just lead with the sentry. Because if they go like Merciless Hunter. Okay, like I'd rather the Merciless Hunter the sentry than Merciless Hunter a fading icon. Keep them from getting a slay by using Vile Feast. I'm gonna hold it. I wanna draw that extra card. very well be Black Spear, but I, the only way for me to stop Black Spear is Glimpse Beyond anyway. Always got to get that zero one in there. Got to just show that you mean business by attacking for zero. Yeah, I used to just gruntle, gruntle. Yep. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. All right, so there's the hunter, and I think I'm going to just flash freeze whatever hits the ash, and so I will. Pass right here. Could play the Curse Keeper, but I can also do that post combat. Yeah, I was worried about that. 
Alright, so we're gonna let that happen, so that means I have to play Iceville Archer to get me another... You know, to basically just take out another one of these. I should I should frostbite the merciless hunter and have them challenge with the reaper. Yeah, I should have I should have frostbitten the hunter. The time is right. Strike now. My life for Avarosa. That was a mistake. Stand together. We love it when they run. <laughs> really? Why? It was already vulnerable. You at least just made the O1 vulnerable just, just in case you wanted to. I just wanted to target that ash again. Four to five right now. Few can know what death and eternity in store. Ugh. One more mana? I want a harsh wind. What a harsh wind. Makes that 10-7, I can Vile Feast my own 3-1 to make it a 9-6, but probably not worth. Okay, so now that, now a definite worth. Because now that's going to be 10 whenever it strikes. So close to having lethal. It's only seven damage though if I just attack out and they're at eight. I need to see if we draw another threat. I guess that's a threat. I'm pretty surprised they're not playing anything. So Vile Feast is like the only card that saves them now. Because they just didn't play anything. Yeah, Vile Feast is the only card that saves them. The box. Huh. I guess people play the box. Which I did not consider. I guess that saves them. No, they don't usually run Vengeance. Usually Atrocity is the top end spell. They could have, like, Nasus as champion spell. Yeah, atrocity, that's probably about it. So people play the box because it wrecks Aurelia Azir, but isn't Thresh Nasus already just perfect against Aurelia Azir? Like, isn't that the best matchup for Thresh Nasus? Why do they need the box? Just make your best matchup better, I guess?
Down to one. We got an unspeakable horror in here. How are we how are we getting this one damage across? No, we don't have any direct damage way to get one damage across. It's got to be in combat. What's up, Rekindler? The desert by my side. I was really hoping they were going to be playing another thing and I was going to avalanche after they played another thing. Guess I could avalanche to then. I just can't let this... I just can't let this Nasus level up. So I guess I have to use Harsh Winds right now, but I don't want to. But I guess it's the card to use. So I think that like whenever they just drew a champion right there, I think that that was Nasus. Because I think they almost used like, the Nasus champion spell. Uh, no, no reason not to just declare the 4-3 a blocker on the Nasus. No, not really. Not really any reason not to. I guess the the reason is, if I would have, then the 4-3 would have taken one damage, and so now it would die to Avalanche, but now it doesn't, you know, it doesn't die to Avalanche. So that's a, a swell reason, I suppose. I didn't play this Ash in hand because I really wanted to keep Flash Freeze available. They'll have three blockers to my four attackers. If I flash freeze, then they have two blockers. And so then, what keeps them alive? Like, how do they stay alive by flash freeze from like cards people usually play? I can't imagine they have another of the box. A withering whale, they'd still be dead. They'd have to have withering whale plus flash freeze, or plus a uh, vile feast. I'm pretty sure they're just dead. Oh, I should be attacking with the O1. You. Yes, you do. As we discussed earlier. They haven't had anything die, so like Black Spear is not enabled. Oh, atrocity. Why did I think of atrocity? Whenever I was naming stuff. Well, I'd probably just cost myself the game. Because I just use my I use my frostbite card. We have three flash freeze, three harsh winds. We can draw harsh winds. Almost. Well, I think I lose. Yes, yeah, so that's that's another Nasus right there. That that's what they're you know debating. You know, like they're worried about like a frostbite card. They're like thinking about doing Nasus's champion spell. Spell. The wheel never stops turning. Using this to try to get this thresh out of here before the NASA's champion spell. So we should still be able to do that.
this honestly may have just won us the game. Them using that ride of negation right there. If they just let that resolve and just use NASA's champion spell, I'm dead, but how do they stop Ash now? That may have just won us the game. Swiftly now. I don't know what their plan is. I think their plan is they're dead. I think they dead. They dead. All they had to do was just just let that resolve. Cast cast the champion spell. The war is over. Now we rebuild. GG's. But like by that time, they would be able to you know they would be able to rebuild their board also, and one Ash at that point would not have finished it out like that. Okay, so it's gonna be a tough one with Aurelia Azir. Let's see, I could keep... I don't really want to keep Flash Freeze Harsh Winds. I guess I keep Archer Cursed Keeper, but I don't really know what I'm doing with this Cursed Keeper. Avalanche. Yo. We figured it out. Okay, so the thing we're gonna do is just wait till this round, and then this round, play the Curse Keeper. So now they play something else like Aurelia. Or not. Where they fall, freedom grows. There's Aurelia. Um. They did play very well against Avalanche. So I could play the Fading Icon right there, but the reason why I'm not is because if I play Fading Icon, then I don't have three mana for Flash Freeze for to protect Ash with this attack. What terrors must we face up here? Whatever they are, we face them together. Turn aside. About one. The dance for two hearts. United in war. Nine. Speaker, you've joined us in dangerous times. This too is a story we must remember. I want to kill this Aurelia. Okay, at least it's not Retreat Return, so they don't get to put it back into play. So, you know, they won't have the leveled up champion. Three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so. They should be dead. I don't really know how they stay alive. That's gonna be frostbite number three. Frostbite number four. Attack is frostbite number five. They can't block. They could have like one homecoming, but 
That doesn't quite save them. We still have exact lethal with the homecoming. Oh, shape stone plus homecoming. Oh man, they had shape stone plus homecoming. They already used the shape stone also. Okay, well I guess that's the one way they could stay alive. Happy about that. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. All three shape stones? Come on. Really? All three shape stones? And then that? I've danced this a hundred times. Unreal. Wow. Wow. A lost battle, not a lost Wow. Battle. I really thought about playing Siverzillion for the seasonal tournament. I would have gone with Targon over Noxus, but Siverzillion, like, you know, I, I ended up with Zillion Nasus, but I really thought about going with Targon with Siver. I wish we, like, slayed our own units a little better than what we do in here. It's hard to have that, like, with Frostbite also. That's. The that's why it's kind of difficult. Like, Kindred and Ash do have some good synergies together, but it's hard to have, like, enough good cards for Ash and enough good cards for Kindred together. So this thing just attacks for a little bit more. With me not having any way to... Oh, there we go. Any way to slay my own curse keepers. We need to find Glimpse Beyond, right? Like, that's the card that I really need right now is Glimpse Beyond. So I can spend two two spell mana to kill my own unit, plus we get to draw cards and everything like that, too. I can kill one of those. We gotta use a lot of resources on that.
So this will mark one. Shapestone right now. But we need a glimpse beyond, right? Like a glimpse beyond would have made the world a world of difference. We have any way to take out a landmark? We do not have a way to take out a landmark. Okay, well, we have a bunch of frostbites, so hopefully we get some frostbites. Alright, we're gonna keep the ash. Look for some frostbite stuff. Cool. Glimpse Beyond. Draw, draw some cards. Card draw is always good. Two cards we hadn't seen yet in these games. Grasby and Dying and Fresh. I will unite the frail yard. You know I cannot abide that pretender. Aberrations, stand together! So that means they have like Talia or something like that, they want to clear up space. You would think. Something where they want to clear up some space. Get some damage on this thing. Swiftly now. Yes, you. Trading Ash for either of these two is a good trade. It does help Thresh level as well. It's too bad. So 
So Thresh has one away from leveling up, but we got rid of all of those Thralls. And the Talia. Let the land do the work. Spoke too soon. So I need to get this... I'd love to get this Thresh leveled up first. If I try to cast Grass the Undying on the 8 1, they just play um, the Ice Shard, and they're going to be playing the Ice Shard like no matter what I do. Sandra does so much. never beat this deck, ever. Wait, what? Feel the power of true ice. What did they just... They just wasted the three sisters? What did they do with that three sisters? They grabbed Entomb? Entomb was not the correct card to grab. Basically, that's why I didn't play the Curse Keeper, is because I figured that that, that was like the only card they could have had was Entomb. Like, if, if they didn't play either of those cards, it, the only card it possibly could have been was Entomb. And so I play Curse Keeper, they, get to, they just Entomb the Curse Keeper. Sandra making an 8 8 overwhelm and free ice shards and tough nexus and 11 17. It's just. It's ridiculous. Simply ridiculous. That kills me with. With the Watcher. Man, what an amazing hand. Not a lost war. This looks good. Flash Freeze. I have plenty of Frostbite so I can mulligan it, but it, it could be you know, a very useful thing against Nasus later. I like the Katarina emote. It's a good one. Yeah, really, Insul is probably the strongest, but you know, it costs 10 mana. Talking about, like, uh, for the mana, what all the stuff that Lissandra does for just 3 mana instead of 10, like, you know, obviously, there's a very big difference between 3 and 10 mana. Alright, we'll do a prediction. Every time we do this prediction, we lose. So we want them to play something first, so we can avalanche before combat. Love it. 
I'll take it. It's a good apple. So I like blocking the Curse Keeper, so now they don't get have the ability to slay the Curse Keeper with all the different slay cards. I think I just trade here before they play like a 2-1 or something else that blocks. So that's their first slay of the game, as far as Nasus is concerned. Down to just three cards. Of course, my hand's not looking very good with Rekindler, Rekindler, Harsh Winds, Harsh Winds. So, like, so far this has gone perfectly for me, but my hand is horrendous now. Six cards that don't matter at all. So, it was looking good. We really need to top deck more, like, Glimpse Beyond, Spirit Leech, you know, something else to draw some cards. Are you kidding me? They just had another vile piece in their hand and they didn't just keep me from drawing two cards? What are they what are they doing? They could have just used that and kept me from drawing two cards from the glimpse beyond. Or like some kind of master? What What is going on? Can't draw any worse though. That egg. Did it move? Our one good card in our hand, Vile Feast. Cut them from drawing two and getting a slay. Yay! It's your card. Life is the rain that splits the skies. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Everyone's a garden. I was thinking that they were holding on to the rash, but it was blood of caretaker. Probably not worth the harsh winds. Not when I'm holding like these rekindlers and I kind of want Ash to die. Playing this other hapless aristocrat in my hand just does negative things. It it clogs up the board and it also gives my opponent the opportunity to slay these things. You know, it gives them more units to slay. So I just don't really even want to play this hapless aristocrat. I don't know why you block with that and not the thing that's like always a 1-1. One, one. So I want the Thresh to challenge my Ash. Put the Thresh down to one health and then I Avalanche. And then play Rekindler. Very glad not another Glimpse Beyond, even a Ride Negation I would not have really liked right there. So it looks like we're doing great card-wise, but um, if they... Yeah, I'm really glad they didn't have Glimpse Beyond, right? Because like Glimpse Beyond... Oh, don't be a second Nasus, just pass. Okay, cool. Nasus Champion spell would have been bad. Your time is done. And 
now it should be good. Having these um, rekindlers enabled. This game should be over. Unless they were playing uh, Ruination right there, which I have seen these people play Ruination before, but even if they would have just Ruinationed right here, then I would have played, you know, another Ash, and I, we still would have been just fine. Looks like we're going to end with a win, being two and three. Both wins against Thresh Nasus. <laughs> How about that? Okay, well, they're fighting back. I guess I could play this fading icon over it, the spiraling. Let's see, so I have 11. Yeah, I still have 9 mana. So I still have enough for a harsh wind splash freeze. Rekindler doesn't get to do enough work. Let's get Rekindler over here. Let Rekindler do some blocking. Cool. If they would have had a, another Glimpse Beyond for the Sand Soldier, Rekindler would not have killed an Asus, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, that's super overkill, <laughs> but I wanted to do it. I wanted to do super overkill. All right, there we go. Two and three. Now begins a new era of peace. Good way to finish that one out. We had some, we had a bunch of close losses in that. Um, I think our deck felt pretty good, but we did have some close losses. I think I would probably take out the Grasp, the Undyings, and honestly, maybe the Spirit Leeches. I know like we needed some more card draw, but Spirit Leech is just pretty expensive, and it's just it's very, very poor to have with Avalanche. I think I just want a lower curve just in general. I think all those cards are just too expensive. And I just wanted I wanted another Glimpse Beyond, right? Because I wanted something a little cheaper. So I want another Glimpse Beyond. And then I would probably play another Vile Feast or Black Spear or um, Averroes and Sentry or, or just another cheap way to kill our own units. And honestly, I guess that's probably just like a, a Ravenous Butcher. Because I I want like another easy easy way to turn on Kindred right like where you can play Kindred on five like that's I think we we're kind of missing that like play Kindred on five and then be able to enable it immediately. This Butcher doesn't work <clears throat> perfectly with Avalanche, but obviously Butcher with Curse Keeper or with the zero one you get with Fading Icon can can lead to some very aggressive starts. And so I think that would be kind of nice. So that's that's what I would do. Let's get oh we got two more we do have two more slots. All right, let's get another Vile Feast and Black Spear both. Definitely Black Spear. And yeah, maybe Vile Feast, because we're taking, you know, we're replacing those five mana Grasp the Undyings that are just a little expensive. And yeah, let's let's just get another Vile Feast, another Black Spear. I like that. I like that a lot. So that's that's what I would kind of do is kind of lower this curve a little bit. Instead of Spirit Leech, let's get more Glimpse Beyond, so we you know still get that card draw, but you know for a cheaper price. And then some more Vile Feast Black Spear instead of Grasp the Undying. Because Grasp the Undying, it does kill like the, the three health champions, but so does Black Spear. And hopefully we can have like some stuff dying. And then like real large stuff, we have all the Frostbite cards with Flash Freeze and Harsh Winds. So we don't really need the, um, the Grasp the Undying for like the, the real large stuff. Could see playing Withering Whale. And honestly, maybe Withering Whale is better than Avalanche. Or, you know, like just some number of wi Withering Whales with Avalanche. That's a card to think about, also. Yeah, maybe instead of, like, like Hapless Aristocrat, kind of unnecessary. I don't know. You know, so that's that's a card to think about, also, is Withering Whale. I think I'd rather have that than Grasp the Undying. But there we go. That was Kindred Ash. Another cool Kindred deck. Get it? Cool? All right. 
yeah, you got it. Anyway, um, that's going to be here for this one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. If you got any other ideas for improving it or anything like that, I would like to hear it. But this was another fun one to play, and we had four incredibly fun decks today. They all did very well, and I was real happy with how today went. Um, so good stream, good stream. All right, anyway, that's going to be it here for Kindred Ash. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.